Welcome to UBC Library Tutorials Data Analysis. I'm going to talk to you about parametric and non-parametric ANOVA. ANOVA is used when you are confronting a continuous variable with a categorical variable that has more than two levels. Let's look at this example. Are there any significant differences between the mean of age in different income categories? So I have a continuous variable called age the unit year and a categorical variable income category with four different categories. So looking into demo self, we go to analyze, compare mean, one way and over, select age as my dependent and income category as factor, go to option, ask for descriptive homogeneity mean plot continue, click OK. You will see the mean standard deviation, standard error, confidence interval, minimum, maximum, as well as the number of sample for each categories. Next table will show you whether there is any homogeneity of variances. This value is significant, so just think that their test is significant meaning that the, the, the variances between these four categories are very different. This means that you cannot proceed reading the next table and this significant level is not meaningful. Here is your main plot but you have to resource to either transforming data or looking into within group differences to report the data. At this point, you can also do non-parametric tests. You can go to Analyze, Non-Parametric Tests, choose Co-Independent Samples, and repeat the same procedure. Here, it will ask me what are the category codes, 1 to 4, Continue, and the Criscal Values test is already selected for you. You can click on Option, Ask for Descriptive, continue OK. Now here again you have a table for descriptive for each variable age and years or income category and you have the ranking and finally the result of your test. So as you can see this significant level is way below 0.05 or alpha level that means there is a significant difference between the mean age of income within four categories considering a new test which was the Kruskal Wallis test. For more information please write to researchcommon at ubc.ca or use these resources. Thank you.